Well, good morning. It is Sunday, July the 3rd of 2022. Well, this past week I was working out in the garden here at the uh, at the building, and it was hot, and uh, I was sweating and uh, getting eaten by bugs, and I was using the rotor tiller, uh, tilling up, tilling the weeds up between the rows of vegetables. And for some reason, I got to thinking how lucky I was and that uh, I was not having to do it by hand or with a horse, if you will. Um, and I had this nice tiller, and really all I had to do was, was hold it down and follow behind it. And that got me thinking uh, about a lot of advantages that we have today that individuals of long ago didn't enjoy. And... You know, take for instance how how you're listening to this, how you're watching this. Can you imagine what the Apostle Paul could have done with the internet? Um, we can reach millions and millions of people through the internet. Uh, here we we have a we have a building that is air conditioned in the summertime and that it's heated in the winter time, and so we can meet together in comfort. Um, we just we all have access to at least one copy of the Bible, if not uh, numerous copies of the Bible. We just have all of these advantages uh, that people long ago didn't have. And as great as these as, as these things are, and I enjoy meeting in a building that's cool again in the summer and, and is warm in the winter, and I enjoy having... Uh, ready access to several copies of the Bible and the ability to listen to other men and women uh, teach about the Bible and listen to people sing the songs of hymns and praise. And I, I enjoy all of these, I, I do, but as great as they are and as wonderful as they are, they simply pale in comparison to being able to talk to people face to face and to be able to sit down and just be with one another. And I thought about a couple of passages of scripture in Acts chapter 2, beginning, beginning in verse 42, the, the writer Luke says, and they, that is the early uh, believers, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And all came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belonging as belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. And so these, these early Christians, so grateful for the salvation that had been offered to them by God and that they had accepted uh, in their proclamation that Jesus was the Christ, met together, met in their homes with one another. Uh, in chapter 8, Luke writes about the fact that Saul, before he became a child of God, was ravaging the church. And in chapter 8 and verse 3, Luke writes, but Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house. He dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. And so as great as our technology is, and it's wonderful, and with all of the many wonderful things we can do with all of this great technology and all these advantages, if you will, that we have, that these individuals in the New Testament days didn't have, it can't compare to meeting with one another, just being together, sharing a meal together, getting to know one another being with one another face to face far outweighs the ability to meet together over the internet or by way of Zoom or some other technology. 
we know people that have hundreds, if not thousands of friends on Facebook whom they've never had the chance, will never have the chance to sit down and meet face to face over a cup of coffee. Let's take advantage of the technology that we have. But don't ever forget the wonder of being able to sit down and talk to people face to face and the benefit of being with one another. That's much greater. The benefit of that is much greater than all of this technology that we have. Call somebody up. Invite them over. Go out to meet with them. Let's get back together and let's get back to being with one another, not just here at the building, but in our homes. And let's get to know one another, to get to really know one another, because that will help us to help one another be what God has called us to be. Well, I pray that you'll have a great week.